Schmidt. Well, we're joined on the MWC.com with Michael Sisson, linebacker of Colorado State. Thanks for joining us. No and problem. How's your media day experience been going? It's been great. You know, I've been out here just enjoying myself and uh, just playing with, uh, just talking, chopping it up with a lot of other players. Yeah, it's probably interesting to actually get to talk to these guys <laughs> off the field. What's it been like interacting with them? Uh, interacting has been great. You know, uh, you know, you have a lot of different thoughts about how the guys are going to be, but when it comes down to it, just like you, you know, just good guys to be around. A couple football questions. Just talk about what you expect out of yourself personally and your team as your senior year comes to the beginning. Uh, uh, myself, you know, I just expect to, to be a great leader, you know, and just try to do all of the things that everybody needs me to do to, to get us on the right path, you know. And then this season, it's a physical season for us, you know. We uh, we got a lot to prove, and we have all the intangibles to be a great team. So as long as we go out there, you know, and, uh, and stay hungry all season, we'll, we'll do great. You led the country in forced fumbles last year. Do you have a certain, like, technique? You're looking to strip the ball every time, or what? How, what goes into that? You no, know, sometimes I'm looking to strip the ball, but a lot of times coach just tells you uh, every time you get, you know, put your hat on the ball and uh, the ball should come out. So I try to do that every chance I get. How do you think a guy like Mike Arakapo is going to accomplish you this year? Uh, he, uh, he's going to be great. You know, he's already has all the intangibles. You know, he has the height, he has the weight, the speed, and athleticism. He just has to go out there and prove himself, which I know he will do. He, He's going to be a great player. I think he, he might even give you room for my money out there. So it, it's going to be exciting to see what he's going to do and the rest of our defense is going to do. When you were looking at the colleges, what made you choose Colorado State? Uh, Colorado State was one of, the team, one of the teams that actually just stuck with me throughout the whole uh, recruiting process. They were one of my first offers. And uh, like I said, they were just there for me from day one to, to the last day. You know, And when I came out with my official visit, you know, I felt comfortable there, and I, and I loved the atmosphere, and I decided to, to go there. What has your experience as a student athlete taught you that maybe you can apply to life? Uh, it, it, it's taught me to just be open to a wide variety of things. You know, uh, come from Dallas and then come going to Fort Collins. You know, it's, it's a very different atmosphere. Uh, I just I enjoy myself, you know, and, and it helped me be a more open person. You know, I, at first I came out there, I was a shy and stayed in my own shell, but now I'm more of an open guy and want to explore more things and uh, be around a, a lot of different types of people. So it just helped me in that area. Are you Cowboys or a Texans fan? <laughs> nah, I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, man. <laughs> How'd that happen? Uh, my grandmother uh, was a, a Steelers fan, you know, and. I just jumped on a bandwagon with her, and ever since then, I've, I've been a fan. You jump on the Mavericks bandwagon at all? Uh, no, nah, not at all. Okay. <laughs> no, I really don't follow too much basketball, okay. but uh, <laughs> if, it's a, if it's a Dallas team that's going to win, you know, I, I'll cheer for them, but sure. not, you know, I'm really not following basketball. Are you a Twitter or Facebook guy at all? I Twitter a little bit. Can I give a little fun? <laughs> yeah. I just Twitter a little bit, but no, nah, right now it's just... I've been trying to stay out of Twitter since I've been here. So, <laughs> okay. um, hobbies and interests outside of football for yourself? Uh, basically, just uh, chilling with the, uh, the my teammates, you know, and enjoying myself, playing video games. You know, I stay on the NCAA uh, or NBA 2K. So most of the times I saw them doing. Playing with Colorado State and NCAA. <laughs> yeah, I play with our, <laughs> with our team a little bit, you know. But I try to try to play with everybody and get. <laughs> get a wide variety of teams on my, on my, under my belt. What are a couple things on your bucket list that you hope to accomplish moving forward? Before graduating? Uh, just, just in life. In life? Uh, you know, a lot of my dreams already come true, you know, going to college, you know, I'm finna finish uh, my degree in, in uh, December, so, and then hopefully, I, you know, I can make it onto the league and then whatever happens after that, you know, I'm just grateful for all the opportunities that I've, I've been given. Well, Michael, best of luck this season to yourself and the rest of the team, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.